Hey guys, welcome back. John here at 1984 Barbecue. Today we're going to be doing up some picanha. I managed to find it at my local butcher. We're going to be doing this on the Weber Rotisserie. Let's get started. There's our picanha. Got some beautiful marbling in this. This is a uh, Black Angus certified and it is a prime. So beautiful marbling on this. The butcher already cut it up into some nice, pretty decent slices. We're just going to do this up with uh, some coarse sea salt here. That's going to be all the seasoning we're going to need on these. Just going to put some coarse seasoning on one side here. Kind of just pat that in there. Flip it over here. And uh, we'll do this other one here. Just like that. All right, I'm gonna let these things sit here and soak up the salt. And we'll uh, be back shortly. As you can see, I got the picanha on the uh, skewer there. And now we're gonna put this on here. Dome was reading about 500. I'll show you how I got my setup going on the Weber. I've just got my, um, just got my coal baskets kind of dead center. There. And uh, we're gonna get this right over the fire here. There we go, just like that. I need to slide these down just a tad. There we go. All right. Got our picanha on there, or sirloin, top sirloin steak strips. There. All right, we got them spinning on here, guys. We're going to try to shoot these for about a medium rare. And uh, we'll bring you back when uh, a few minutes we'll check on them. We're back, we're going to check on our picanha. Looks like it's coming along really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and stop it. See where we're at, temp-wise, real quick. Oh yeah, we're done, guys. I may have overshot this. Anyways, we're done. Got a nice crispiness on that. Uh, we're gonna get these off here, guys, and uh, we'll cut into them soon. We get All right, guys, we got our picanha done, and I'm here to tell you it's juicy, but I. Pretty sure I overshot it, so we're going to cut into this here and take a look at it. But uh, we're looking about a medium well, guys. And again, I'm very sorry for the flies. It's hot outside, so the flies are moving around, but about a medium well. So, anyways, you can tell I'm having trouble showing you guys what we're doing. But uh, there's a good look at it again. High, medium to medium well on this, guys. The cook took roughly 10 minutes on the rotisserie. I walked away and came back, you know, like I said, less than 10 minutes, bam, finished product. This thing got done quick. Of course, we was running about almost 500 on the dome. So it was it was a hot and fast cook. Um, but, man, the benefits here on this, I'm telling you guys, there's a good shot of it. Uh, juicy. Uh, not very salty. I mean, it had a little bit of salt in there, but it didn't take away from that beefy flavor. Juicy, tender. I mean, for where it was cooked at, guys, it was it was great. It was just like a piece of heaven. The fat was crispy and then soft. I'm telling you guys, if you're not big fans of fat, I understand that, but this fat was not that thick, and it was perfect, just perfect. All right, guys, so, I mean, it was delicious. I got this at Haber's Preferred Meats. In Sellersburg, Indiana, it's a local butcher. If you're local, check them out, guys. I'll leave a link in the description box. Anyways, guys, fast cook, well worth the time. Hey, if you're new to the channel, think about hitting that subscribe button, hitting that bell, let you know uh, when I release new videos. Guys, it's free to subscribe, it doesn't cost you anything. If you're a returning subscriber, I greatly appreciate your all's uh, your all's support. I really do. Thank each and every one of you guys. Really appreciate it. Anyways, guys, we'll see you on the next one.